Okay, so here we are with part two of the review of um, the Royal Train, and it's time to put the loco on onto the track and to run her in. Now I must stress that she seriously hasn't been run in at all yet, so let's get her run in. This is the first time ever that she has been on track. So that's the loco itself. Oh no, hang on. This is the DCC loop. And I should really put her onto the DC loop. So I'll put her onto this piece of track there. Just like that. And then put a tender on as well. There we go. God, look at her. She's beautiful. Huge, absolutely huge. I love those sprung buffers. So let's give her a bit of power. Ooh, that wheel's not quite on just there. There we go. So let's get her running in. And there she goes. I've set the power at about 12 o'clock, just past 12 o'clock, which is a brilliant running in speed, I find. So I'm not going to take it any faster than that, and I'm not going to take it any slower either. That's the perfect running in speed, that is. That will allow the gearing to bed in, and the cogs to get all lubricated. Come around here and watch it come past the camera. Oh yeah, she's beautiful. She's absolutely stunning. Can't fault. I just can't fault her at all. <laughs> um, there's not much to say apart from that she's beautiful. I just can't wait for her to be ran in so that we can put on these coaches. We've got the two Mark III coaches and then the Mark II coach and a special surprise as well which we'll um, put on in a second. So where is she? There she is. Let's get a few close-up shots before we leave her and come back to her after she's run 30 minutes in this direction and 30 minutes going backwards. Hornby don't say to do this, but Batman, Elgin and V-Trains do. So, I recommend you do this. It's certainly not going to do any harm. So we'll come back to her in about an hour's time. 